in regards to some of the most entertaining hoop classes over the last decade, the class of 2017 definitely comes to mind. And while a lot of attention and camaraderie was around players like Trey Young and Michael Porter Jr., there was this undersized prospect who hadn't quite bloomed into the player that scouts fiend for. But despite all that, this was a player who stayed ready, even when it seemed as though that opportunity would never come his way. This is the Jason Preston story. Jason Preston was born on August 10th, 1999 in Orlando, Florida. Now well before making any type of noise on the basketball court, his mother Judith was always his biggest supporter and was always invested into every single thing in his life. Now his mom was the one who always encouraged him to keep his faith first. As he even stated, quote unquote, faith has always been an important part in my life. The word of God is so powerful and just being able to talk to him gives you so much comfort. I am a huge believer that everything happens for a reason. Now even though Jason wasn't really that good at basketball earlier on, as he was the true definition of a late bloomer, none of that stopped him from working on his game at the 7th grade level. And as he got older, his love and drive for the game would just continue to skyrocket. So much so, after his high school practice would finish, he would go straight to the rec center and keep working out. Now midway through his sophomore year, something very tragic would happen as his mother passed away from lung cancer. And just like that, his main support was no longer with him. Now since the majority of his family was in Jamaica, Jason had nowhere to go, which led his aunt and uncle to become his legal guardian. And as they let him remain in Florida, he would live with the son of his mother's best friend. Coming into his senior campaign, he was six foot and only 140 pounds. And as he attended Boone High School, his school was looking for a state championship. And because of that, Preston got hardly any floor time, and he was only able to put up two points a contest. Now, following high school, he had made up in his mind that he was going to put the basketball down. In fact, he applied to the University of Central Florida as a regular student. At that point in time, he was planning to major in journalism, but after competing in the amateur athletic union circuit, he chose to take his basketball talents to a prep school and join Believe Prep Academy in Athens, Tennessee. The crazy part about it all was like it was was meant to happen because he would shortly after grow four inches and as he touched down at the prep school he knew he was going to have to come with it and be the best version of himself on the court he went on to average 12 points, he dished out 9 assists, and snagged 7 rebounds a contest while leading his team to a pretty solid 31-8 and eight overall record. He started out playing for the B team, but as he kept developing, he would be elevated to the A team after a plethora of solid performances, but began playing for the C team after receiving little playing time. Now after some time, he was moved back up. Eventually, Preston took it upon himself to post his own highlights on Twitter. Not too long long after, a couple of offers had came rolling in from Ohio and Longwood. Eventually, he would commit to play for Ohio. As a freshman, Jason would go on to start 22 games, but the coach that recruited him did go on to leave Ohio after his freshman season. Now, he could have went on to transfer to Wichita State where his coach had just gone, but he just wanted to stay loyal. He gained 20 pounds of muscle during the off season and was now standing at six foot four and a pretty solid 190 pounds. As a sophomore, he just kept developing his playmaking skills. Now, in his very first game of his sophomore year, his team was down to only eight scholarship players due to injury. But Jason truly took advantage of the situation and played his heart out as he had 13 assists and a road win. Eight days later, in a road game versus Iona, he scored 27 points, 14 rebounds, and 5 assists. He went from averaging just 6 points as a freshman to putting up 17 points, 6 rebounds, and 7 assists a contest as a sophomore. His significant improvement that season allowed him to be named to the second team All-Max selection. On November 27, 2020, Preston had the game of his life as he recorded 31 points, 8 assists, and 6 rebounds, but in an unfortunate loss to number 8th ranked Illinois. With the steal, here comes Preston, the pull up leaning. Preston trying to work around that screen from Wilson. Preston inside. 
Here's Preston curling the Now around this time, his story would start to draw national attention following his performance. Preston was named most valuable player of the MAC tournament after leading Ohio University to the title. And as the NCAA tournament came around, he willed the 13th seeded Bobcat to an upset victory over the 4th seeded Virginia as he recorded a solid 11 points, 13 rebounds, and 8 assists. Only one minute field goal this half. Here comes Preston on the attack. Spinning on the block. As a junior, he continued to make strides as he was a very crafty scorer off the dribble, a great passer, and at pretty solid height. On January 23rd, 2021, he posted his second triple-double of his college career with 11 points, 11 assists, 10 rebounds, and an 85-77 win over Ball State. And if they get hot, look out. Good steal there by Preston. He's going to go. Yep. Go the, or the basket, I should say. Here's Preston on the floater, and he draws. They're playing. I mean, they're playing aggressive. The team is into it look at that back door jason went on to be named mvp of the mac tournament after leading ohio university to the title and for his junior campaign he was able to maintain averages of 16 points seven rebounds seven assists a contest which allowed him to earn first team all mac honors august 9 2021 preston signed a three-year rookie scale contract with the clippers a couple months later he would experience a major setback as he underwent surgery after suffering an injury on his right foot during the preseason of his rookie campaign which did result in him missing the entire 21-22 season after undergoing surgery but as he worked all the way back he made his official nba debut on october 23rd 2022 now he did spend the majority of his second year in the g league preston put up 17 points seven assists five rebounds to go along with two turnovers while shooting 56 percent inside the arc and 37 percent behind the three-point line Preston with the floater in yesterday's action. Preston on the drive. Now all Preston's life in basketball, he wore glasses away from the basketball court and never tried contact lenses, but still it never affected him as he was one of the best college passers during his time, despite the court being slightly blurry. But since the Clippers season was ended in April, Jason underwent laser eye surgery as he's set to have a pretty solid up and coming season. Jason Preston just stayed motivated and was determined to keep pushing forward, even when life hit him. And once the chance came, he truly took full advantage of it. And now the 24-year-old is living his dream. Assume this day would come one day, and you know, it's here, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make the most of it. Take every day how it is, you know, uh, win the day every single day, and that's all I gotta uh, stay focused on. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Jason Preston story.